Hey everyone, this is Kasim from PHP Travels and in this video we are going to learn about installing PHP Travels on our local system or local environment. So make sure you have downloaded or purchased or got the trial version for the latest version of PHP Travels. And first of all we have to make sure that we have installed our local environment server let's say we are using XAMPP or VAMP or whatever the server you use make sure it's up and running and then first of all we have to create a database just navigate to your phpMyAdmin and from database write the name of your project or simply name it PHP Travels so we have now our database ready and then we have to navigate to folders and files of the XAMPP folder and we have to create a new folder with the name of our project let's say PHP Travels or whatever the name you and I have to extract all the files of this zip folder over here so I'm extract extracting it under the project name it may take a few seconds and yes so we have all the files extracted now what we have to do is we have to go back again to our phpMyAdmin and select your database and click on import from import click on browse and then go to the HD docs of your server from project name from PHP travels latest files file find the folder called install and then select install.sql this is the database the basic and the base database of the entire project import it to your database and again it may takes a few seconds okay so we are done importing our SQL file and you can see it should have all the database files imported and then we have to go back to our files and find the config file on root of your files and if you could not found this you need to go back to install and you can find here the config file copy it and and based on root of your files and then just edit the index file in the define api url we have to type here our localhost url like local host slash php travels without any ending slashes we do not need to add any slash and in the database did we have to add our database name here php travels and save the file make sure the username and password is the same for now because we are using XAMPP by default the username of XAMPP is root and there is no password so let's check out PHP Travels and boom so we have installed PHP Travels it's very simple and easy as you can see the home page has been loaded perfectly and it's working fine the last thing we need to verify is the admin panel type API slash admin to log into your admin panel and see if it's working fine admin at php travels dot com demo admin and we have everything installed and working perfectly just make sure because you are using the local host make sure your URL does not e exist with the 
HTTPS because you are using the localhost it must be without any SSL certificate so use the HTTP most people encounter these issues so make sure you are not using the HTTPS and that's all we are done here thank you for watching